We are back with this big breaking news coming in two months after Disha Salian's death. Rattled Mumbai police has now sought information of Sushant's former manager's death. The Mumbai police, in fact, has issued a press note, and the Mumbai police in that press note is seeking information. Uh, Mumbai police says anybody having any proof or any information on Disha Salian should approach the Malwani police station. This press note is in Marathi, which says Disha Salian hiche mrityu sandarbhat Malwani police thane yete apam mrityu dakhal karneyat ala asun. Ya ghatnecha sarva bazuni tapas Malwani police thane amarfat karneyat yeta he. Ya sandarbhat social media vrutta patra vrutta vahini dware vivid batmya prasiddh hota he. त्या अनुषंगाने कोणतीही लेखी व इतर पुरावा किंवा अधिक माहिती देऊ इच्छित असल्यास खालील अधिकारी यांच्याशी संपर्क साधावा जेणेकरून या प्रकरणाचा सखोल तपास व संबंधित बाबींची शहानिशा करणे शक्य होईल सो बेसिकली वॉट द मुंबई पोलीस इज सेईंग इन द प्रेस नोट इज दॅट इफ एनीबडी हॅज एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन दिशा सालियान्स डेथ दे शुड reach out to malwani police officials let's go across to siddhant first siddhant the press note now all of a sudden the mumbai police has been reminded that they are uh, looking at this case from all angles they are also talking about various reports doing the rounds and statements being given on uh, disha salian's death Well, absolutely right. You know, Swati, this is what I call a Times Now impact because we were the first to get Disha's family on record where, we, where they were raising suspicion. We also spoke to people related to Disha Salyan. Now, finally, after almost uh, two months' time, Mumbai police has uh, has come out and released this uh, this uh, press release saying that if anybody knows anything about Disha's suicide, can approach us and uh, we will uh, do investigation in that particular direction. Again, the question. question goes for mumbai police what they were doing for two months first second when even i was spoke is speaking to people of that particular region zone they were telling me it's a suicide we have gone through the cdr records also she was not sushant's permanent manager she only worked for a brief period of time family does a family don't have any allegations to make uh, make uh, on anyone we have recorded all the statement the uh, people uh, present uh, in the party that night even uh, her family members also they have not given us anything and uh, and but case case is not closed they ha they have been telling me that but you know after two months time after we ran relentlessly mm. that how uh, disha uh, disha's uh, suicide also has to be probed properly uh, uh, even uh, in connection with sushant singh's mm. death unnatural death so you know now finally they have come out with a release and the email id of cp mumbai uh, sorry additional cp mumbai uh, dcp right. uh, of the zone acp malwani right. so and senior pm malwani police officers uh, you know have been mentioned in the press note we also have our executive editor vivek narayan and priyank joining us in the broadcast let's go across to vivek now vivek this press note makes it absolutely evident that the mumbai police is in the know how of the several reports that are doing rounds on social media and certain newspapers as well but it is only now after 2 months that the mumbai police is reaching out to people and they want any information on disha salian to be forwarded to them absolutely it's a shame uh, on uh, mumbai police and they've had to come out and almost publicly admit that we failed to realize that disha salian's murder death at that point is suspicious and now after a good 2 months they have uh, quote and quote suspicions about the way uh, her death happened and calling upon public to come and report to them this just proves not just incompetence but something beyond that swati remember it has taken more than a rap in the knuckle from the supreme court for the mumbai police to wake up and within less than an hour and a half of the supreme court verdict you have a situation where mumbai police comes out and with a press release with a press release saying yes something might be wrong for that we'll have to first go and check uh, what happened in the disha salya case and then perhaps slowly look into what is happening in the sushant uh, death case right absolutely in fact uh, bjp leader narayan rane did a press conference yesterday and he is openly claiming okay i believe we've lost that line with priyank siddhant he he is openly claiming that he is privy to the autopsy report of disha salian and uh, narayan rane says that disha salian was raped and murdered now inside the court the mumbai police guarantees the top court that they are doing their job professionally outside the court clearly the police is rattled looking into all the links between disha salian's death and that of sushant singh rajput 
Well, that's right. Uh, it was first times now who brought this uh, in public domain. Now, yesterday, BJP MP Narayan Rane has done a very uh, elaborated press conference where he claims that he has a uh, he has post mortem report of Disha Salyan where uh, where injuries are established in her private part. This is what Narayan Rane has to say. He also speaks about a party where a politician's son uh, was a part of and several other Bollywood uh, personalities as well. So all these allegations were made by him and today after uh, Supreme right. Court has given three days time and have asked for a status report from Mumbai police. Right. Mumbai police has come out with a release asking yes, people to give information time, about... Yes, uh, three days time uh, has been given by the top court to all the parties but not before. The Supreme Court slammed uh, the Maharashtra government and the Mumbai police with the way the entire case is proceeding. Siddhant, uh, stay on with us. We're taking a very short break on the broadcast.